This country in southern Europe was the backdrop for major Hollywood movies such as The Gladiator and World War Z as well as TV series like Game of Thrones which earned it the nickname The Blockbuster Island. Part of the EU and largely overshadowed by its very popular neighbor Italy, Malta is gaining immense popularity amongst international students as a study abroad destination. And when you try to look it on a world map, chances are you may not find it because it's so tiny. To give you a rough idea, Malta is half the size of cities such as Mumbai and Hyderabad, one third of Bangalore and one fifth the size of Delhi. Hi, my name is Saket and in today's video, let us talk all you need to know about studying in Malta. Let us begin with the education system. Malta was a British territory until 1964 and therefore most of its education system is very similar to the UK. Degrees are usually three years only except engineering which are usually four years and medicine and dental related programs that may last up to five years. Masters are two years but there are a few masters programs that you can finish in just one year just like the UK. Over to universities and programs. There are largely two major universities in Malta, University of Malta and American University in Malta. Out of these, University of Malta is a public institution. And then there are a few private institutions too, such as Malta College of Arts, Science and Technology, London School of Commerce, European Graduate School and Global College Malta. Some really popular courses include Medicine, Dentistry, Arts and Design, Architecture, Law, Business, Hospitality and Tourism, Film and Media and STEM subjects. Now let's talk about intakes and deadlines. So there are usually two intakes in Malta, February and October, out of which October is the major intake. Some private colleges may also offer intakes in April, May and June as well. I would encourage you to apply and start the process as early as 8 to 9 months before intake start date. To give you an idea, for October intake deadlines are usually July and February intake deadlines are usually November. Now let's head to costs starting with the tuition fee. So as compared to most other European countries, tuition fee in Malta will be considerably much affordable with bachelor's degrees ranging between 5,000 to 15,000 euros a year, which is roughly 4.5 to 13.5 lakhs and master's degrees between 6,000 to 20,000 euros a year, roughly 5.5 to 18 lakhs. Programs such as engineering and health sciences will be costlier than others. Also, many programs will cost you just 10,000 euros or 9 lakh rupees for the full course. Second major expense is your cost of living. Living will be at par with most major European countries and cities. And on an average, you can expect to set aside 1200 to 2000 euros a month as living depending on your lifestyle. Accommodation will be the major expense since it can be a bit expensive and you will have to shell out a minimum of 500 euros a month for a decent shared accommodation. Student discounts will be available at major stores and do note that it is mandatory to get health insurance too, which can range between 300 to 600 euros a year. So do set aside a budget for that. Now let us talk about university applications and documentation. So there is no centralized portal to apply for institutions in Malta. So you'll have to apply directly to the universities you wish to study at. Most institutions will require your academic transcripts and certificates, statement of purpose, two letters of recommendation, CV, passport, and English language tests such as IELTS, TOEFL or PT. For UG courses, minimum expected level is 6 bands overall with at least 6 in writing and 5.5 in other modules. And for PG courses, 6.5 overall with minimum 6 in writing and 5.5 in other modules. Application fee may be charged by some institutions and it will be 100 euros on an average. Once you apply and get an admit, the next step is your study visa. To apply for Malta study visa, also called the National Long Stay Visa or the D visa, you will need application form, one photograph, passport, medical insurance, travel details and dates, letter of acceptance from your university, course details, proof of accommodation such as hotel booking or accommodation contract, proof of fee payment, education certificates apostilled by Ministry of External Affairs and Aadhaar card. Also, proof of sufficient financial means is required, which is equivalent to 75% of the national minimum wage for every month of study. The visa fee is 8,913 rupees and there is a 2,331 rupees service charge and 160 rupees convenience fee. And last, part-time jobs and post-study work visa. Malta also offers international students to work 20 hours per week but do note that you cannot work in Malta for the first 90 days and once you get a job offer, you will need to apply for an employment permit or license. You can expect to earn 8 to 12 euros an hour for your part-time job. 
talking about post study work visas you can stay in the country for one year to look for a job and once you get one you can extend your visa there are a number of helpful resources in the description box below that will be of immense help if you're planning to explore malta as your next study abroad destination hope this video has been super helpful and before you leave don't forget to like share and subscribe see you next time